So I just finished putting together my version of the Baby 10 analog sequencer. Um, had quite a few bugs to work out at first because this is pretty much my first do-it-yourself kind of project. Um, found this nice case to put it in and some nice knobs and a whole bunch of switches down here that uh, I wired up so in the center each each step is off uh, if you push it up towards the knob it turns that step on or if you if you push it down this sets it to reset uh, it's a pretty handy feature for you know messing around live um, so let's see how it works turn a couple steps on set it to reset it for um, this thing is supposed to run on 15 volts so or at least the schematic I got uh, had it had it running on 15 volts so um, each step was was outputting the, the CV was way too hot it was it was coming out like you know between between 12 and 15 volts and that was just way too hot to run any gear off so I, I put this switch in here to um, if you flick it up it, it runs through two sets of resistors before going out to CV and if down it is just one so it's kind of like it's kind of like an octave switch I guess when, when it's running so let me turn this back on So that's pretty handy too, I figure. Uh, so let me get a full sequence going here. And I've got it just running off the trigger off the, the 606. So I can always just, uh, right now it's broken up into eight, uh, eight triggers going out. You can add more and it'll kind of trigger it to a different clock. So I guess that's it. Uh, I was just real happy that it finally worked. And uh, it took me quite a few hours to work out all the kinks with the, the power supply and and uh, getting the resets to work on the, sw the right switches. And uh, there it is. Pretty cool. Uh, I guess all the parts probably cost me around 180, 200 bucks. But um. I use good stuff. Should should hold up for a while. I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, I guess that's it. All right, see. You.